everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm doing a collaboration with um, CJ Bay of CJ Pores, and I'd like to give a shout out to her. And I will um, be showing you a um, picture of her painting somewhere in my video also. So uh, what we're doing is a collab on an acrylic cloudy pour. I have a 14 by 14 inch canvas that I have put down a layer of uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and High Gloss Easy Care uh, Acrylic Enamel, about 50-50 on that. And my pouring medium today, I'll talk about that first, is one and a half parts Floetrol to one part paint. And let's talk about the rest of my paints. I'm using Deco Art Festive Red. And this is a metallic paint. And I'm using Amsterdam Phalo Blue. And I had to scrape out all the paint in that tube, thus the, the tube looks a little funny. And I did um, add a dollop of Blickrick Black and Dark Green to really darken up that, uh, that navy blue. My next color is Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown. Very pretty color. And my next color is Folk Art um, Antique Copper. And this bottle looks pretty bad, but I love the copper. And let's see, my last color here is Cream Coat. Metallic 14 karat gold. So I did not add any silicone um, with my paints today. Like I said, it's going to be a cloudy pour. So I'm going to move my canvas out of the way here a little bit. And just start pouring the paints in my cup. And I am going to be adding that Flow Acrylic White with the, um, the enamel right in with the painting. And then also putting this paint around my pour. So let's get started with the pour. This is my first collaboration, and I'm very excited that she chose me. Kat from CJ Pork chose me to do a collab with, and I'm excited to see what our paintings turn out like. been a long time since I've done a cloud a cloud pour and I am hoping that I really get a good pour here today
And I just think a little bit more of each color and I'll be done here. Okay, got that all finished. Okay, and now I'm just going to make sure that my canvas is in frame for you real well here. Looks good. Okay, and I'll start the pour here. Okay, and now like I said, I am going to put some of that white around my paint here to help it move and to hopefully give, give us that cloudy effect. Okay, and now I will start tipping. I do see quite a bit of that gold in there. And I bring it back to the middle here. And get this corner here. I did leave my paints a little bit on the thicker side today, which is what you want to do when you're doing a pour of this type to try and keep the integrity of your rings. And I will bring it back to the center. And get this corner.
and bring it back. to take a look at it here. Check out my corners. And the sides. And I think I am going to take some off down at this corner here, stretch it out a little more. And bring it back. Try and bring it back here to the center. And I want to take another look at it here. And I just want to take a little bit off down at this corner also. And bring that back. Okay, I'm going to take a look at it now. I really do like the composition of this painting. And I did get some of that cloudy effect here going on. And I will torch it now. A lot of the red came up and some of that dark, dark blue. And the white in the white did pop through here and there. I do see just a few spots of that copper in the gold. Let me do give a torch and see what happens here. A lot of very pretty spots here in this painting. You'll be able to see when I get you down for a close-up. And we, we, we will see what develops as it sits a little bit.
okay. Let me clean off the bottom here. Check the side. And I just noticed I have a big blob of paint in my coffee, so I, I think that coffee's a goner. That's what I get for putting my coffee too close to my painting. Okay, I'm going to get you down for a close-up now. You can tell me what areas you like, and I'll tell you what I like. Okay, this is the upper left-hand corner, and that is very pretty up in there. Hopefully you can see all the shine coming through from the red. Just really pretty. And I like the dark blue, how that came through, that navy. Some cells in here. Very shiny and pretty. This is a pretty area in here. All the This is where the gold came through. Hopefully you can see that. This is the lower left-hand corner, and I will take you up the middle here. Very pretty in here. I think that red really added a lot to this painting. And there's those little dots that you get when you do use the uh, enamel. And you can see some of the gold coming through there also. Very pretty in here. And this is the lower, the lower right hand corner. And again, you could see a few of those little uh, white cells coming up from using the enamel. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share, subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Kat at CJ Poor for including me in on this collaboration. It's been fun and I'm really excited to see how her painting comes out also. So until next time, take care everybody. Make sure you visit CJ's um, channel and I will link uh, her channel in the description. So check her out. Okay, thanks everybody, bye. I am doing a wandering dream pour for my portion of the collaboration. It's in blues and greens, and I have some metallic gold. I'm really looking forward to the collaboration with Deb. I've been watching her channel and getting a lot of inspiration from her. Thanks, Deb, for doing this.